What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to check out this video today. Guys, I am headed into Fred Meyer this morning. I usually come on the weekend, which are the days that I'm at work all day. And I like to go over there because the Fred Meyers is pretty close to my job. It's like a block or two away. So I like to go and check out their clearance section. And, you know, usually they have a pretty good selection of their clearance. Um, sometimes they don't. I want to say the last time I went, they really didn't have too much of anything. But usually when I go, I can find something. I always find something that I can find useful. So I like to go over there and pretty much just check out their clearance, check out their reduced items, check out their reduced meats, see what's on discount, see what's new for the week, and also see what the prices are looking like compared to other stores. All right, guys, so come with me. Let's go into Fred Meyers and let's see what we can find. All right, let's go. Into Fred Meyer this morning. I want to see kind of what fruit they have on sale in here this week as well. So follow me in here so that we can go check it out. It is early in the morning and they haven't quite opened up yet. So we're just going to wait for them to open up. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is head to the clearance. I usually start off in the fruit department, but they were still over there stocking, so I kind of didn't want to get in the way. So I said, I'll just head over to the clearance aisle first. On my way out, I'll go back over to the fruit department and check out what they have going on over there. Okay, so I am coming up on the clearance section. From what I can see right here, they do have a few items. Okay. So here is the clearance section today. It is a little bit more stock than it was the last time I came in here. I see a few things off top that um, look a little different from the last time I came. Over here they do have a bunch of cookies. They've got some apple danishes. These are $2.47. They have some cookies right here. The cookies are $2.19. $2.39. They've got some mini croissants here that are reduced to $2.30. These are chocolate filled croissants. These are $2.94. These actually sound good. I think I'm going to grab one of these. Coming over here, they have some Nan. I really like buying these things right here. I buy them for to make like little pizzas and things like that. So I'm going to get one of these. These are $2.56. They've got some hoagie rolls down here, $2.19. There's another pack right here for $2.06. There's some sliced bread down here. This is Tuscan White. This is $1.85. They also have these honey wheat Hawaiian rolls, $1.92. I don't need any of that, but they do have some pretty good breads and they are all pretty much reduced to two dollars this one right here is three dollars these are some what is this cheese rolls these are two dollars and 19 cents pretzel buns here for two dollars and 74 cents they've got a couple bags of pretzel chips these are two dollars and 25 cents they have the garlic and parmesan ones for two dollars and 25 cents as well i'm gonna grab both of those Back here they have the Everything Bagel ones. These are $2.25 as well. I'm gonna grab all three of these flavors right here. They've got, these are Stacy's Pita Chips. Those are $2.25. Those are up there as well. These are a bag of Lay's. These are $2.25. These ones look like they're kind of crushed though. Right here, this is some um, pork chili verde pork in green salsa, $4.95 for that. This is a heat and serve packet of something. They've got some laundry detergent, some Myers laundry detergent. These are $17.15. There's another one right here. This one is $15.83. They have a bunch of these. I've never had these, but there's a bunch of these. These are reduced to $1.35. Splash 
Splenda. This is three dollars and fifteen cents. This right here is laundry detergent, Country Save laundry detergent, nine dollars and seventy-one cents. There's a Bloody Mary mix back there. These are some more detergents. This is aloe vera juice, four dollars and twenty-six cents. These are some Dunkin' Donuts cold brews, four dollars and fifty cents for a pack of ten of them. Potato starch. These ones are macaroons, almond rave macaroon classics. This is two dollars and forty-seven cents. They still got paper straws, a dollar and fifty-seven cents. They still have some of these hemp lotions. They've got the candy cane one, the pumpkin spice. Those are the only two that I see left. And these don't have a price. They just say as is and they're half off, but there's no price on them. This is some chestnuts. These are $2.25. They've got this flax oil for $7.91. These are just a bunch of Splendas. This is a pack of, what is this? Pancake on the go, blueberry, just add water. Okay, these are $3.05. I've never seen those before. This is a Hawaiian barbecue sauce, $7.07. .07. This is an all-purpose cleaner. There's no price on that, though. Come down here. They still have some of the same things they have. Um, these are just, this is spaghetti. This is contained prebiotic fiber. I've never seen this before. Healthy pasta living. This is 85 cents in here for this. They also have some chickpea pasta. This is red lentil. This one right here is chickpea. So they have chickpea and red lentil pasta. And these are $1.44. This is a Dunkin' Donuts cold brew concentrate. Just add water. This is caramel flavor. $4.27. These are those little Dr. Scholl's um, ball things that go on your feet four dollars and 64 cents for those for a three set of them that's not bad tonic waters these are three dollars and 12 cents they've got some everything bagel chips these are two dollars and 25 cents for these i think i'll grab a pack of these and try these i like to buy little snacks like this for my kids bagel chips they have the toasted garlic roasted so these are toasted garlic these ones are, I don't know what these ones are because the tag is covering up what flavor they are, but they have everything bagel and then they have the, the toasted garlic. I'm gonna grab the toasted garlic ones for them. $2.25 for those. And then coming down here, they just have a bunch of little knickknack things. This is monk fruit Splenda. If you have never heard of monk fruit, I've heard it's really, really good. I've never tried monk fruit but these are $4.05. This is just an alternative to sugar. These right here are honey almond butter packets. Simple truth, $2.64. There's six packets in there. They've got little knickknack things down here. I don't see too much of anything. This is a laundry bag, $2.54. These are some straws down here. These ones down here are 56 cents. These are like Christmas ones down here. And this is a fogger. They've got a couple little knickknacks down in here. And then these right here are just a bunch of little sugar spices, sugar toppings. These are all like $1.21 or $1.26. There's some cashew cereal down here, $2.10, peanut butter crunch. This is a laundry detergent. This is Woolite, reduced to $4.50. They've got some Old Spice Swagger Spray. I think that's just over here. I don't see a price on that. Overall, they have a couple good things over here today. I was able to grab some pretzel chips. I got one of each flavor. The original, the garlic parmesan, and the everything bagel. Those are all $2.25 a piece. And then these bagel chips right here, $2.25. I got some Stone Fire Nan Bread, $2.56 and some chocolate croissants that are $2.94. So now what I'm gonna do is head over to the meat just to check it out and see what the prices are looking like over there. So they have these again, these crab meat stuffed Atlantic salmons. 
These are $10 for those. They have a reduced plank Atlantic salmon for $7.08. Another one over here, $7.08. This one's seasoned with smoked maple sriracha. There's not really anything right here in the last chance meat. These are just a couple of stewed um, meats right here, $6.84. Most of them are $6.00. $6.62. There's a pack of pork chops down there, $13.29 reduced. The pork shoulder butt roast are on sale for $1.99 a pound, originally $2.99 a pound. They've got some chipotle pepper spare ribs cook in a bag. Oh, that's different. Those are $14.56. Original price is $18.21. Pork tenderloins on sale for $3.99 per pound. They got these ones right here. So these are about $14, $15.11 for the smaller ones. They got some cooking bag, teriyaki style pork tenderloins right there peppercorn cook in a bag pork tenderloin they have a couple different ones of those well these little things right here are new this is a hibachi style stir fry with noodles it comes with the whole kit the meat the noodles the vegetables these are $17.99 this one right here is a street taco kit with chimichurri sauce. That's cool. It's got the onions and the meat and the tortillas and the sauce and everything in it. And then you've got your regular roast beef with vegetable kit. So these ones right here are new. I've never seen those ones before. But the stir fry kit is $17.99 and the taco kit is $14.99 and the pot roast kit is $16.99. Ground beef is $2.99 a pound right now. And the three pound package is $8.97. So that's for the 80-20. And then the regular ones are, the 80-20 is $2.99 a pound. So that is only $8.97. And then the other one, the 73-27 is $13.99. 93 is $15.99. They have a couple of them throughout here I don't see any really on sale besides these Angus beef ones over here those are seven dollars and seventy seven cents seven dollars eighty three cents and then all the other ones are pretty much just regular price there's one for six dollars Laura's lean beef five dollars and fifty four cents they've got these heritage blend of chuck and brisket these are burgers these are new these are $10.99. I think there's four of them in here. So it's a blend of chuck and brisket. That's interesting. They've got some impossible burger patties right here made from plants. Those are $6.99. These Beyond Burgers are made with avocado oil. $5.99 on sale right now. They've got some polo asada on clearance, reduced to $4.85. This is chili, lime, cilantro. These are boneless, skinless chicken breasts with rib meat, is what that is. And it's $8.99, regular price. And then these ones are all reduced to $4.85. The chicken thighs and drums jumbo pack is $0.89 cents a pound. So these are all thighs 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 but it's saying they are on clearance or they are on sale for 89 cents a pound the drumsticks are nine dollars fifteen dollars ten dollars some of them are eleven dollars the chicken thighs for the heritage farms are a dollar 99 a pound this is just some chicken breast strips for stir fry that they have there those are on sale seven dollars and 94 cents the boneless chicken breast are $2.99 a pound. Then you have these packs of chicken over here, $10 for the whole chicken wings and $5 for the chicken drumsticks. I don't need any meat, but I like to kind of see what they have just to look around. They have the sirloin steak. They have the sirloin, 
they have the sirloin steak petite buy one get one free so that's what these ones look like these are $30 37 35 in that range and then they also have the tri-tip steak boneless beef loins buy one get one free and these are over here for about $21 $32 there's one for $14 so like I said I don't need any meat I just came to kind of check out what the prices are going for these days just to kind of see what the prices are right now kind of see what's on sale what's on clearance in here and what's new so now I'm gonna head back over to the fruit aisle when I came in they were stocking it so I didn't want to get in the way um, there's a couple fruits that are on sale this week that I want to kind of check out I want to make sure that they aren't digital coupons though because I kind of get messed up with the digital versus the regular coupons. Their berries are $2.99 in here. They don't have much. I got some from Walmart a couple days ago and they really look really good. And they were actually really good. So I think I'm gonna stick with going back to Walmart for the strawberries, but they are $2.99 for the 16 ounce. And then they have the two pound for $3.99. They are regular. 589 and they don't look too bad actually but that is a weekly digital deal and like i said i always have issues with my digital one for some reason their watermelons over here are 8.99 a piece but they are seedless as well so i don't know when they start coming out with the seeded watermelons but i wish they would hurry up because i really want a seeded one and all the seedless ones seem to be out right now the asparagus is back to 199 I think I'm going to grab a couple bundles of asparagus. You can't go wrong with asparagus. $1.99 with card, so thankfully it's not a digital coupon, so I'll get those. Their grapes are $1.49 a pound. I just got some from Walmart and paid, I want to say like $2.69 a pound for them. And my kids ate them already, so I think I will get another bag of these. These ones don't look bad. So $149 a pound for the grapes, and it is with card and digital coupon. They have the discounted fruit right here. I don't need any fruit. I just bought a bunch of apples, but they have these little bags of apples that are a dollar for the whole bag. And then their bananas are usually 49 cents. They've got this sweet papaya here. Huh. I've had a papaya once before but I don't really care for papayas, but they do have a bunch of apples down there. So I think this is everything that I'm gonna get out of here today. I've got some pretzel chips, some bagel chips, some nan bread, I've got some asparagus and some chocolate croissants and some grapes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head to the register and see what this all comes up to. I think I got some pretty good things, you know? What do you guys think? Welcome valued customer. Place if you have your shopping card, scan it now. Weigh your item. Place your item in the bag. Select the item to purchase. Select the item. To Place your asparagus in the bag. So this is my total before I put in my rewards card. Thank you. I'm gonna watch my total Enter go down. Enter the number of bags you wish to purchase. Then press the. Your total is twenty six forty four. If you have coupon. Okay, so I had her take the grapes off because I needed the digital coupon for them, and I did not want to pay six dollars and thirty four cents for them. And I don't feel like trying to figure out my whole digital if you are thing finished right now. Scanning, touch so pay now. twenty dollars and ten cents is my total minus the grapes. All right, family, so that was it for my grocery haul, my little clearance selection um, haul at Fred Meyers today. I was able to get exactly 
let me see i got a total of seven items and i paid twenty dollars and ten cents and i saved four dollars and nineteen cents so i did have some grapes that i was attempting to purchase um, I actually had her put them back. I don't know if you guys know, but when you shop at Fred Meyer, they have digital um, savings and then they have the savings that you can use with your card. Well, some of their items will say you can use digital and card, but then some of them don't. But my app is usually never working. So I just go ahead and I just try to get the things that are useful with my card versus me having to go into my app and do all that scanning and stuff. So anyways, long story short, the grapes were on sale, but they were only on sale if I was using my digital coupon. So I did have her take those off because they rang up at like $6 and some change. And I actually just paid pretty much the same amount for some grapes a couple days ago um, at Walmart. So I didn't wanna spend that much on them again and I may have some still, but the only reason why I was attempting to get them anyway is because they were supposed to be on sale. I got some pretty good stuff. I wanted to get some snacks for the kids. I got a couple snacks for the kids. Now that I got all those pretzel chips, I'm gonna have to go back to grocery outlet and get me some hummus because I have too many pretzel chips. Um, what are some options? What do you guys use if you're eating like pretzel chips or something like that? Leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of things you guys eat with pretzel chips. What do you guys think goes good with pretzel chips? So anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video. All right, bye.